Hi, I'm Rosie, and you're watching In the Nose Covered Closet. Come on in. Living in Brooklyn really makes me feel comfortable to dress like this. I just see so many people on the street being themselves and it makes me feel very comfortable to kind of be this crazy art project. I would say that my style is very fluid, groovy, and definitely very preppy. I am Rosie. I'm not backing down from being myself. I will be loud. I will be crazy. I will be obnoxious. I will be, you know. I think clothing is very important for self-expression, it's the first thing that people see. And I really want people's first impression of me to be surprised at how expressive I am. My TikTok community is very much a safe space for me as well as all my followers. Knowing that I made people feel more comfortable to come out or to start expressing themselves in a new manner is honestly what I define success. Growing up, I kind of had two main role models for fashion. One was my grandmother and another was Freddie Mercury who was actually introduced to me by my grandmother. This outfit is really just embodying things I love and things that represent me. The skirt is really embodying my feminine nature. I have pink frogs all over the sweater with these really cute pink buttons and then the bra under to add a little bit of, you know, scandalous. I actually got this just the other day, about three days ago. I thrifted it and I really love the pearls on top. This piece was actually originally for a Halloween costume and I actually only really bought it because I have the same last name as the designer and it's actually become one of my favorite pieces when I wanna wear pink. These are my go-to pants that I will just wear way too much. I'm definitely a big outfit repeater. These are my ultimate clubbing pants. I I refuse to go out to clubs if I'm not wearing these pants. I also really, really love my suits. I really like to sort of be androgynous with that. So I have this suit, which was a gift. It is a vintage, I believe, a 70s Ralph Lauren suit. These are my go-to shoes just in general. As you can very clearly see, I definitely wear them a lot. I love the pointed toe. I love the small heel and I always get compliments on them. As silly as it might sound, I love Crocs. I have a little frog charm, a little flower charm, and my pronouns. And I love that these are also platformed because you can never be too tall. These babies are the first pair of heels I ever bought a couple years ago. It was a pandemic purchase and not very smart to go with a seven inch heel, but I learned how to walk in these and now I can walk in basically anything. Before I leave for the day, I always add one extra layer or item to my outfit. I want people to just have more reasons to stare at me. You can honestly never do too much with an outfit because more is better. Give people more reasons to take pictures of you or to ask you questions about your outfit or to just gaze. You can never be too crazy with fashion, go all out. I don't think you can be too crazy or too bright or too loud or too obnoxious with what you're wearing. I think it's really important to go through your closet and see what you can already make work for you. I think overconsumption is a big issue with fashion. And honestly, if you have an old piece of clothing that you haven't worn in a while or you don't know how to wear, literally just learning how to style it a new way or just wearing it differently with different pants or with different jackets or anything, it basically becomes a whole new outfit and a whole new article of clothing. This is definitely like my favorite sort of groovy style top. This is also another one of my favorites. It's actually the first piece of clothing I've ever thrifted for a dollar and 75 cents back in my hometown Syracuse. And this sort of made me love fashion because I was like, whoa, I can get a dope shirt for literally $2. The outfit that I'm wearing right now is actually one of my go-to favorite outfits and it's definitely something that I repeat wear all the time. Pink is very clearly my favorite color and I've actually thrifted this entire outfit except for the bracelet which was a gift from a friend of mine. If there was someone out there who was afraid of being themselves, the most important thing I could say to them is that's valid. There's nothing wrong with being scared. There's nothing wrong with being worried, but just know that you are you and you're gonna find your own happiness when you start being you.